what are electrical and magnetic frequencies? So that's first, right? So the body and yourself both have a set of electrical magnetics. No, I'm sorry, electrical frequencies, grids, and uh, energy. And you and your body both have magnetic frequencies and grids. And they are combined, they're really kind of like within a half of your body, right? So the upper half from about your heart to the crown and above is your electrical frequencies. And anywhere from the heart down is all about your magnetics. And we talk a lot about magnetics being, you know, magnetizing and grounding and um, all of those kinds of energies that just kind of draw you in. And when they are out of balance because they have a lot of energy and light coming in, uh, you feel out of balance, right? And so if you're feeling out of balance, spacey or woozy or just kind of like can't focus or you're fatigued or anything like that, then what can happen is it you obviously don't feel that, that great, but also <laughs> what can happen is um, – you shut down your manifestations, your magnetics, right? You, that energy that draws things to you gets kind of funky also. And so you'll notice that some of the days when you're not feeling so great or in balance or your energy is just off, you're not magnetizing to you as much as you are when you're in that high vibe balance state. So this little process that we're gonna do today is um, going to help you balance those electrical and magnetic frequencies. So like we said, the electrical is from the heart up. And if you're a light worker or a healer, or you do any like tarot card readings or any type of energy that requires you to connect with the higher realms or the other dimensions, then you are constantly using your electrical fields. You're constantly using the higher chakras. You're constantly using that electrical energy. If you don't balance that electric that electrical energy with the magnetic energy, then you're totally going to be spaced out, right? You'll you'll know it. Like if you're not grounded in and going upstairs, when you actually come back down, you feel like all spacey and loopy. And you might even say, like after reading, um, oh my gosh, I, I gotta get grounded, right? <laughs> That's just kind of an indicator that you weren't really locked in. And that could have been because your magnetic frequencies weren't really balanced enough for you to go all the way high into the higher chakras. And the magnetic frequencies, again, run from the heart chakra. Actually, it runs from the solar plexus down to the root, into your earth chakra, into your star chakra, all, the, all those other chakras below. And when your magnetic frequencies are off, it's hard to ground. And if you're working with energy and it's hard to ground, <laughs> you don't feel so good. And what happens is uh, the body then doesn't feel so great. And when the body's out of balance, it makes it a little more of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a struggle, but more of like a challenge to actually hit those higher chakras. You're not as clear right the messages aren't coming as coming in as clear as they ordinarily do you're you're having to focus more you're having to concentrate more um on that energy so i'm just waiting here for a couple of people to show up raise your hand let me know if you're here um and i can get a sense for so if we're ready to kind of move that on, if you're watching this in one of our other groups right now live, then uh, just be aware that I cannot see any of your comments in the groups because we started it on our business page, which means I can only really um, see the comments that are on my business page. And at this point, I'm not seeing anything. So if you're here, say hello uh, or give us some hearts. Uh, or anything, <laughs> we would love to see you. Uh, I'm going to just um, give myself a thumbs up just to see that the windows here are working and I can see them. Okay, cool. All righty. So today, especially, I don't know what is going on out in your universe. Thank you, Kadisha. Hello, hello. Um, but it was like somebody put the energetic shift button on today and it is like game on and 
I think it has something to do with the astrological configurations that are happening right now. I think um, it has something to do with Pluto, and I think Pluto went direct. If you know anything about astrology, um, the one thing about Pluto that I know is that he is a major cleaner. And you can also, you can like imagine him like the Tylex spray that you would spray in your bathroom on really heavy deep in grunge that's in your in your bathroom you spray tilex on it that's pluto with your energy field so i believe he's leaving town today but before he left i think he kind of wanted to slam the door and so i'm finding a lot of people um having issues with that balance and that can relate to what we're talking about today the electrical and the magnetic frequencies involved in your energy system and if you're not balanced when energy like this comes through to begin with it actually feels worse when the energy comes through than it would if you were balanced because if you're balanced sometimes you just wouldn't feel it it just just comes through and you you wouldn't even feel it but because it's kind of like a funky energy um and people really weren't expecting it. Like when, when a astrological configuration leaves, usually it's like a relief. It's like an open valve, like a deep breath in. And uh, today it's just like Pluto left and was just kind of like, yeah, sayonara. And here is a nice kick in the butt while I go, which I think caught a lot of people off guard. So um, let's do a really quick balancing of the electrical and magnetic frequencies. And if you um, are someone who already has our Balance Your Shift bundle, uh, which is in our download store on our site at elizabethpfeiffer.com, there is a process in there that um, actually would do this for you whenever you need it. And there is another one there that will actually recalibrate your grounding mechanisms to Earth's current magnetic frequency and that's a that's a whole different other subject other um, we just go through that really quick earth has its own frequency uh, and it's measured through the Schumann resonance right and so as earth goes through the process of evolution that resonance that spike goes up and down on each each and every day it's usually like um, under 10 for the most part it's like her average but um, what happens is uh, as those spikes happen, I think even last month, she went all the way up to like a 92. And that can be very disruptive, not only for the planet, but for your physical human form as well. It can be very disruptive and disorienting for the soul, especially if you're um, if you're trying to lock in on the planet's frequency um, with your grounding mechanisms. That's a whole different conversation. So find a comfortable seat. We're 10 minutes in. I'm a little longer than I usually am. Find a comfortable seat and just close your eyes just for a moment. We're just, you're not going to do anything with your mind. This is what I call an activation or a process. It literally is going to take like 30 seconds if that. It is so super simple. And if you can memorize it, um, you can use this, you know, whenever you feel like you just need to reset and rebalance. So what I like to do is just call forth your guide, your higher self, your team, the angelic beings of love and light that you work with to come forth now and surround you in this safe and sacred space. I also like to call forth your body um, at the level of its higher self, your higher self. There we go. Here they come to come forth now and surround you in a safe and sacred space. Okay, so we're just going to send uh, a, just a message. I'm just going to send you guys an energetic message for anybody who's watching the video live or is going to be watching the recording. And it's just kind of like an orientation. This is what we're going to do so they can go really, really quick. Otherwise, we'll just be sitting here waiting for it to happen. And really, anytime you're feeling out of the wonk, you're just going to sit here and you're going to go, you know what, body diva at the level of your higher self, right? Because the body diva is going to do this. We're going to do all this energy processing, requesting up in the higher realms. And then it's just going to like rain down on us. That's how this kind of process works. We're not going to do it here in the physical dimension and try to move everything around. We're sending it upstairs and then it's going to come back down in. So it's going to take a minute. So we're inviting you to the level of your higher self and your body devas higher self. Okay. We're inviting them to connect and engage in the higher realms. 
connecting and engaging with grids and of love and light, lines of love and light. And we're going to invite you at the level of your body, Deva's higher self and your higher self to first engage and locate your electrical and magnetic grids. Okay, so first we're just going to invite you at the level of that level to find them. Find, find them, right? You can't balance something you can't find. So we're going to invite you to find those grids, your electrical and your magnetic grids in the higher realms. You're not doing anything with your mind. You're just chilling, just sitting here, just closing your eyes and just letting your higher self and your body, Davis higher self, do the work. Okay, and once they have it, we're going to invite you to balance the frequencies of your electrical and magnetic grids. That's the first piece. To increase your magnetics to the degree that you so choose, and that's kind of like the anchoring in process. It's kind of like pulling you back down. There you go. And then to engage and locate your magnetic and your electrical frequencies within the cranial sacral fluid of your brain and your spinal column. So you have uh, water in the brain and we have water in the spinal column, spinal fluid, right? And those have electrical and magnetic frequencies within. And when they are out of balance, sometimes you can get headaches or nausea or anything that feels a little wonky. So we're just going to invite you to, invite, to um, locate the electrical and magnetic frequencies in your cranial sacral fluid of the brain and in your spinal fluid and to balance those. Now again, you're not doing any of this work. Your energy self and your body's energy self is really doing, there it goes. <laughs> And then we're going to invite you at the level of your higher self and your body's higher self to increase the magnetics in your cranial sacral fluid of the brain and your spinal column to the degree that you so choose. Whatever it is, whatever that frequency is that you need to get locked in and grounded, we're just going to invite you to find whatever that is. There you go. And balance it for yourself. And for some of you, it's just kind of like a boom, just kind of like, ooh, I'm back in the ride, <laughs> right? The body, I'm back in, anchoring in. There's like a heavier feeling. Okay. And now anchor in on your divine line we call the divine line like a tube of light that flows just in front of the spine in which and where your soul resides while in the human form and just lock it in glue it on to the front of your spine move all of your energy and awareness inside and then glue it all the way so it's a nice even line there's no bumps there's nothing popping off just glue the divine line onto the front of your spine we actually have a free meditation in order to do that in a more focused way at our site on at elizabethpfeiffer.com. Under their free drop-down menu, we have free meditations. This is actually not this in particular, but um, gluing your divine line is actually one of those on there. You're welcome to go and get that. There we go. Okay, and then we're asking for the activation of all spiritual lessons and an update and repatterning of all your identity grids, personality grids, and all ways in which you perceive and are perceived in the world. And so it is. Oh, just take a deep breath in. And as you are sitting here, just take a moment, maybe 30 seconds, maybe just a minute to just kind of sit in your divine line. And just kind of feel all of your energy just kind of return back to your center and even out so that your electrical and your magnetics are nice and balanced. You feel a little bit more solid, right? And ready to attack the rest of your day. Let me know in the comments if you found that to be helpful. Uh, let me know what your experiences are with it. I always love to hear 
uh, experiences because that's kind of fun. And um, again, head over to my website if you want to get the free meditations and work with those or the Balance Your Shift bundle. If you need a link to that, let me know. Um, but the bundle is specifically designed for those of you who just slip out a balance in and out uh, a, a little bit and just need 10 minutes or so just kind of get back into the groove. Uh, the bundle is over there and we're happy to show you uh, how to use it. All right, you guys, have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.